hello guys welcome to this channel and today we're gonna look about at what Ruto must do to stabilize this economy well uh, Ruto won the election in 2022 and uh, he, be, he was sworn in as the president but when I looked at his cabinet I saw that he is trying to play games because uh, the people he chose in fact they are jokers and because he has he is in bed with the parliament he has bought all of the MPs they they vetted those uh, cabinet secretaries those ministers and they say they are okay but in reality those cabinet secretaries all of them are incompetent the president doesn't have to do the work he need to get a correct cabinet in place and he need to have better policies in parliament that are passed and he need to fight corruption and so if ruto wants he knows this it's not that he doesn't know he 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 chose those ministers deliberately I don't know what was his agenda but those guys are incompetent they cannot do anything constructive for this country if he will run with them until 2032 i think this country will be back to the stone age so he need to <clears throat> suck all these guys and look for competent people we have competent people we have competent minds in this country guys ruto must look for competent people who can spearhead these ministries into prosperity the ministry like the ministry of education needs seriousness all ministries need seriousness but the education is the future of this country you mess with it you mess with the future of the country it's already been messed ministry of health doesn't need a, a, a joker guys but all ministries he should remove all these guys and get competent people who can work Another thing that he must do is that uh, he must do away with this kind of boys that he works with. When I speak of boys, I mean Ichungwa must do away with him. He must not listen to him. He must do away with Didmas Baraza. He must do away with people like uh, KJ. Do not listen to these boys if you want to have a better Kenya because for them like KJ he brought comedy to parliament he's not a, a leader and so he need to do away with those people and start listening to people who can advise him for better policies of this country another thing is that uh, when you look around <coughs> the counties you find that there's a lot of corruption if uh, i think the president still has authority to the governors if he can they should fight corruption every governor should account for the money of the county because we are not seeing anything going on in these counties or they should dissolve these counties to make them eight so that it will be easy to monitor because you know now the people are electing crooks as governors and these crooks when they become governors they start they go there to enrich themselves so when the gov central government gives the uh, county kit it, it gives something for them every year this money goes to just these guys pockets you understand they don't even pay health workers they don't do anything but these billions they cannot account for them so if Ruto is serious, if they give the central government gives money to the county governments, this money should be. In fact, we should have a, a way of checking whether this money, if they say they have built a hospital, we should check. If it's true, it's that way. We should have an auditing. Another thing is that um, what Ruto should do to stabilize this economy, he must... Uh, come up with a strategy 
of making sure that the taxes are low. <coughs> when you make low ta taxes lower, we can uh, get the like the cost of production if it is because you know you have overtaxed us electricity is high and you know in manufacturing electricity is needed so when electricity is high and you are still taxing and you have already taxed the electricity it means that the product that the byproduct the product that will come out from that factory we need to stay to sell it for a lot of money you see and uh, what that means is that the only way is that this factory will have to be closed down and what that means is that there's unemployment and what employment causes is that you see many people on the street like when there's a protest you see they enter the parliament you see because they are idle reduce taxes it will encourage more entrepreneurs to come forward these young generations when they they become entrepreneurs they create more jobs then more businesses will be opened then we will collect more tax not the other way around that the president is trying to do like over taxing where there is none reduce tax we will get more businesses opened and the citizen will have money to get those services of those businesses that are open or to buy those goods or to do whatever and when that happens the flow of cash it means the kenya revenue authority will collect a lot of money and the, the country will be self-reliant and it will run on our own efforts but now the more you tax the more you close our business the more we lose everything you understand so cut the taxation another thing that ruto must do to stabilize this economy he should make sure that no young people are leaving this country to go to Saudi, to go to Germany, whatever he's talking about. That's totally wrong. We cannot spend billions of dollars to educate our kids to go and develop other countries. Why, what, are we, why, what is the problem with African people? Your parents used, do, okay, each family has used, let's say, one million to educate a kid. Let's say two million to educate a kid up to when he completes, when he or she completes the university or the college or whatever two million since he started primary to college and when you put all together all these parents the whole country the amount we have used to educate these people is in billions and billions and billions of dollars okay and then now after we spend our money to educate these people you tell us that we should send them to us to canada to china to japan to work so that they can send uh, what is it called the foreign exchange what is this mr ruto that what you are doing sending kids to outside of kenya is totally wrong because these people have been educated with our money they have to develop our country and that's what you should know so if you want to develop to have our economy stabilize let our minds that have been educated here in kenya stay here give a conducive environment for them to work here and then everything will be correct you will see things going well another thing ruto should do uh, to jenga this economy he should do away with his tribal politics kick away the sudis the murkomens because for them, they, are, they want to be like be what? They want to make more money. So they will drain you totally. Unless you are in bed with them, you are eating together. But you should do away with them because if uh, they steal a lot of money, you are, it is your government that will be to blame. So that tribal circle, he needs to kick it out away to stabilize this country. Another thing Ruto should do, he should try to fix our education system. Get the correct minister and pump funds to the education sector and the health sector. Education and health are very key in the development of a country. So I hope he will listen, he will watch this video. 
do whatever I'm trying to advise you. Work on education and work on the health sector. Those two are very important for the prosperity of a nation. Because I see you've put, he has put jokers in those ministries and those ministries are being drained now for two years. Minister of Health and Minister of Education, they are not ministries anymore. In fact, the, school, the schools are operating in their own mode. They don't have any leadership. So, if my opinion is more, my conclusion is that if president wanted to work, he would have worked from the day one. But I think um, maybe for him, he believes that the more poor people become, the more easier for you to control them, to continue ruling against them. But he, what he does not know is that uh, Moy ruled for a long time, but Moy made sure that people had some money in their pockets. There was food. But now with this, this rural regime is making sure that with overtaxation, there is no money in the pocket. There is no food. So angry people, they will not let you even go beyond five years. Try to fix the hunger that people have. Try to fix the shortage of food that we have. Make sure that in the agriculture sector, in the agricultural ministry, there is competence so that people get fertilizer and food is planted and we have plenty of food because we have a lot of people in this country, 50 million people. Make sure that the taxes are below so that people have money in their pocket and they will not disturb you, Mr. President. Make sure that you fix these things or else it might be very too late for you. And uh, maybe you might not reach even 2027. If you continue being a hardliner, being like you cannot listen to anything, you cannot listen. It's either you or never. I think that is the problem with the president we have now. If he listens, this country has a lot of people who are willing to work. This country has a lot of potential. But for him, he doesn't need to work. He doesn't need people to prosper. That is the only problem the president has. And we, we hope that he might change. But the person whom we, we call the president is very close to impossible for him to listen to anybody. So guys, let's hope for the better future. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, kindly subscribe and make sure you, you like. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.